hi hello guys uh, welcome back to hacky sound tutorial so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, linux command line okay so most probably i think everyone would know about command line for beginners uh, let me uh, tell you uh, let me tell you on short intro about command line okay so command line is nothing but uh, commands uh, which are all uh, used in linux servers okay most pro um, most of the most of us are using linux gui version uh, that means uh, linux distros like kali linux parrot os and etc uh, all linux os uh, in graphical user interface versions and we don't need uh, command lines whereas uh, in servers you you will be able to see only the terminal okay so there uh, the command line is very very must uh, if you are if you are going to uh, get placed as a network of a network engineer uh, th you should uh, it is a must um, knowledge about uh, you have to uh, know about uh, Linux command line okay so it is a must uh, as a uh, network operator or uh, wherever uh, you go for uh, Linux jobs okay so this is a um, important topic very very important topic uh, whether you may be a penetration tester or uh, a network administrator or a security analyst this topic will be uh, very very helpful for you to uh, or for you and your career okay so carefully watch this video completely don't skip the video um, that's it guys okay so let's start uh, first of all let me open my terminal okay so here uh, here only okay guys uh, this is terminal so called as terminal which everyone knows the other name of terminal is uh, linux shell okay so in web servers we call it as a uh, shell and whereas in gui version we will be calling it as uh, terminal okay so here only we are going to execute all the commands uh, the, that which uh, linux understands and gives the output okay so there are some basic commands the very first basic command is uh, pwd okay so th this was the uh, basic command which we, we have to know uh, what this pwd means uh, path of working directory it means path of working directory okay uh, when, whenever if you type a pwd it will show you the uh, current working directory now i am in the root working uh, root uh, i'm working with the root so it's showing it uh, like uh, root okay let me move on to uh, hi uh, i already have created this folder okay so we are going to work everything on this uh, hi folder okay so i have typed cd right so the next command is cd the cd means a uh, change directory okay so if you are working with a, a, a particular directory and you want to move to another directory you have to use cd command okay so if you are uh, if you are moving to the uh, moving to another directory in a same folder or a directory uh, you can uh, use cd uh, directly the file name okay so like uh, cd space uh, directly the file name whereas if i want to move to uh, etc okay let me t take an example like etc so if i type uh, etc it won't go okay because uh, etc is not uh, in this particular high folder it is somewhere else uh, in the root folder okay so i want to go to that folder so uh, watch this command okay so cds you have to include a slash okay so slash means a path uh, it, it will breaks here uh, it will breaks the cd for cd from um, this particular high folder and we will move on uh, gets this uh, command to the root it will execute the command with the root okay so that uh, we have moved from uh, cd th this high folder to a etc folder okay so this is the uh, basic uh, commands of uh, this is the top two basic commands of uh, Linux okay so now let's uh, move on to that uh, high folder itself okay so we are we have we are back back to the high folder so that third command okay so there is uh, nothing in this uh, folder okay so let me uh, tell you about the third command that is our uh, third command is a uh, list out okay so list out be because I don't have any uh, files inside that high folder so it's not showing up so we will create uh, like that and we will see about this list out command okay so then only it, you will be able to understand so let me uh, use this command this is the fourth command that is, that is make there okay make there testing okay so uh, let me now show you okay 
so I'll list out. So here uh, we have uh, what this command means. Um, make a directory. Okay, that was uh, that's the command usage of this command. So I have made a directory in the name of uh, testing. Okay, so uh, in this particular high folder. Okay, so I have made a directory uh, named as uh, testing in this particular high folder. Okay, so now uh, let me uh, let me let us come to the ls. Uh, okay, ls command. So ls command will list out everything inside a particular folder okay so you can uh, see everything inside the particular folder and there are uh, some variations available in ls also okay uh, ls is not just a single command you can you ha you can use ls space hyphen a which will show you all the hidden files okay so it will uh, this ls space hyphen a will show you all the hidden files present uh, that are uh, that is present inside this particular high folder okay so let me show you an example of for this okay so let me uh, go to the uh, root directory and list out so here uh, you could see that uh, some files are available okay so these are the i am ha i'm having lots of files inside my uh, root folder itself okay <laughs> so let me show you uh, the example for ls space hyphen a let me show you the difference first okay so we have uh, listed out all the uh, unhidden folders okay so these were the unhidden folders so now, now uh, let me show you okay so ls space hyphen a and hit enter okay so here uh, you, this zap and zenmap and all uh, the folders which we uh, which which is having full stop in front of them or uh, called as so called as hidden folders okay so you can see the command variation wait wait wait, wait, wait. Mm. Here, uh, here you could see that uh, YouTube is the last file. Okay, so where uh, when we uh, execute ls command, but whereas when we execute ls space hyphen a, uh, you could see that uh, zap and zenmap has been added, which are which were been uh, hidden folders of this particular root folder. Okay, so this was the uh, command. And one more thing, uh, we have I can show you like uh, ls space hyphen la uh, this will show you the permissions uh, the particular permissions that file has okay so uh, we, we, for this uh, for understanding this permissions and all you need to know about ch mod okay so that uh, we will discuss in the uh, next vi upcoming videos okay sorry uh, so that's that, that we will discuss in the upcoming videos so uh, for uh, for understanding ch mode uh, you need to understand about command line okay so that's why i am explaining this so because i am going to make a video on ch mode so uh, this is the basic okay so le le i plan to uh, go from basics so let it be uh, okay so you need to uh, for, for seeing the reading writing permissions and all uh, for permissions about the details about the permissions of that particular file uh, you can use this command ls space uh, hyphen la okay so this is the command to view uh, permissions of the file okay so let me move on the another command is clear okay so the clear command will clear everything uh, from the current session okay so that was the uh, usage of that clear command okay so let uh, i have explained you about um, make dir uh, ls uh, cd okay let's move on to the uh, next command rm dir okay so rm dir is nothing but on the name itself you could able i i have i think you have guessed guessed the answer is uh, it's remove directory okay so we are going to uh, remove the directory first of all let me show you that i am having the directory okay so i am having the testing directory uh, inside that high folder okay so now i'm going to remove that uh, particular directory rmdir i have executed successfully executed the command now listing out there is no folder inside that okay so let me uh, show you uh, is there nothing uh, in that folder okay so we have successfully uh, removed that testing folder make the testing so again i have created the testing folder because we need to uh, do practical right so clear command uh, clear sorry 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 
okay clears it off so now uh, to make we have uh, seen about making a directory and making uh, removing a directory about that and all okay so now we are going to uh, see about how to create a file and how to delete a file okay so first of uh, the command is touch hackison dot text okay so before that i'll show you i don't have anything okay i don't have anything inside that so let me execute the command touch space hackison dot text okay hit enter now uh, successfully it, it won't shows uh, shows me up any error that means that command has been successfully executed okay so let me uh, list out and see here uh, you could see that i have created a file named as hackison dot text okay so i have kisson dot text i have created the file okay so uh, let me uh, remove the file okay so that means uh, rm file space hackison dot text okay okay uh, sorry um uh, we have to mention only rm okay so for directory only we have to mention i have forgot it i have confused okay so uh, let me list out now uh see, see uh, we have re successfully removed that uh, hackison.txt okay so if you want to remove a file you need to use the command rm just rm okay so if you want to remove a folder only you have to use rm dir okay so uh, see the uh, please uh, note the difference between them okay so now i am going to uh, make a file again dot text okay so let me clear the command like okay so now uh, we are going to uh, use the another command okay so now if you are if we are in a in a gui version we will be directly going to uh, go to that particular folder and uh, uh, we, do go, we will be going, going to the particular folder and we'll directly opens the file and see what's what's inside that but uh, whereas uh, if you are in a terminal if we are working in a server we can't able to go as a GUI version the only one which we, which we have access is the shell okay that means the terminal we can't uh, see any uh, GUI versions at all there uh, this nano command will help you okay so nano uh, hackison dot text so this command will uh, show you uh, that the, the file uh, what the file particular file consists of so here uh, there is nothing so let me um, type something okay this is a practice session so let me sh uh, save it okay so control x uh, you have to to save uh, nano dot uh, if you are using nano then you have to save the file now nah. so for uh, saving a particular file you have to type uh, press control x and it will ask you like this save modified uh, answering no will discard the changes you have to press y Me, that means uh, i am going to ch make a change okay so that it will it is asking you for uh, this is the file name now nah. yes uh, this is the file name yes uh, we have successfully uh entered some content in that uh, particular hackison.txt file okay so let me uh, show you now so again uh, there are two ways uh, for uh, for editing you can use nano and for viewing you can use nano whereas uh, if you want to just just want to view that file means you can use cat command okay so this is a ca another command which you can use and here uh, i'm going to mention you uh, i'm going to tell you a shortcut okay so i have typed hack the hack but uh, i'm i was uh, too lazy you know so there uh, you press tab okay so it will give you the suggestion so if you press tab from your keyboard it will give you the suggestion automatically okay so now type enter so here uh, you could see that this is a practical se practice session so we have executed the content here itself here in the shell itself okay and if you want to view it as a uh, uh, view it with nano you, obviously you can do it okay so this is a practice section and when you are going to exit uh, you need to press ctrl x okay so if you don't make any changes it won't ask you to save and all if you make any changes it will ask you for um, saving and all okay so sorry every time i'm i'm typing okay 
so copy uh, the next command is uh, copy copy uh, hackison.txt to root okay so th this means i am going to copy the hackison cp means copy okay so i am going to copy the hackison.txt file to uh, root okay so to to root let me uh, see okay so before that i'll show you that uh, there is no okay here uh, there is no hackison.txt file and all so now uh, let me show you so we have uh, moved that uh, so we have copied that uh, hackison.txt to root let me check okay mm. Hatch. Hackison.txt. Okay, so this is the we have successfully copied that uh, hackison.txt uh, to root folder. Okay, so let me remove that because uh, in next command it will show CRR. Okay, sorry. Okay, so now going back to the high directory clearing everything okay so now uh, list out and see uh, we have just copied the uh, hackison.txt from hackison.txt from this particular folder to root okay now we are going to move the hackison folder uh, from this uh, particular location to root okay so hackison.txt slash root okay so you have seen that i have deleted that file from root now we are going to move the file completely move the file from uh, uh, this high folder to root okay so move the, um, for moving uh, mv is the command okay so now let, let me execute and show you that uh, we have successfully moved hackison from high folder to the root folder okay so let me show you here here you could see that uh, hackison.txt okay so we have successfully moved hackison.txt from uh, root to a uh, high folder okay so now we are going to uh, we will move uh, we will test like uh, we will move the hackison.txt uh, file from here to high folder okay so uh, hackison here uh, it's giving suggestion mm hackison.txt why why it's giving suggestion means there are lots of files starting with hack uh, right so that uh, it is asking you for like uh, you, uh, if you um, you have to enter the next keyword then you have to if you press tab it will show you the complete solution okay so that was the thing in here so now uh, let me move on the file to that root um, the high folder is in root okay so we have to mention that also uh, first of all we have to mention root after that only we have to mention the uh, particular folders file okay for a folder name okay so i am going to move hackison.txt to high let me uh, see uh, whether it has been gone there or not here you could see that uh, we have successfully moved uh, hackison.txt from root to high folder okay so that was the uh, basic difference between uh, copy and move so um, everyone would know about that uh, difference between copy and move and also uh, so the next command is next command is so let me uh, create a um, example dot uh, text file in uh, root folder so that uh, we can show you on the next next command needs this okay so example dot text okay so i have created an example dot text in root folder so let me locate it okay let me let me now we are going to use the locate command this command will uh, be great uh, it's very helpful it will be very helpful you for you while working on a server because uh, you won't you don't need to crawl and time waste uh, you don't need to waste your time and all okay so there are uh, this uh, locate command will help you okay locate space uh, which file we are going to locate example okay so locate example and hit enter it will show you oh my god it's having lots of example files okay uh, so let me clear this okay uh, example let me uh, give it as example dot text itself okay there are uh, one two three four 
there are uh, four uh, one, two, three, four example dot text file uh, which includes the like uh, it is in the root uh, directory social map uh, example dot text it's showing all the results are uh, uh, that are coming under example dot text okay so you can use a locate command to locate a particular file if you want to uh, if you are in a matter printer session then uh, you have to use search command okay so one more thing i have to mention uh, here uh, let me take an example like company space example dot text if uh, if a name if a file name which has a space in between them uh, then you need to use a uh, double quotation mark to uh, like uh, like this okay let me show you sample example uh, if the file name is like this then you need to mention mention it uh, between in between the double quotation mark then only it will search for there is no uh, files named as in the name of uh, sample example dot text so uh, if if it is um, for uh, all servers okay it is a uh, like uh, if you have any space in between a file name you need to mention it uh, in between the double quotation marks then only it will work okay so if there is no space you can you directly use the locate command okay so uh, the now uh, the basic commands has been uh, over now we are going to move to the uh, intermediate command lines this command will uh, help you while doing some intermediate works like echo root uh, if you are uh, if you want to see a file's name file is uh, root or not roots file or not like that it will uh, you have to work more on command line to understand this and all okay so i let me uh, discuss let us discuss all these about in privilege escalation video and we will be putting a video on privilege escalation also okay so there we will be discussing about echo and all in detail so uh, use uh, usually developers will use this echo command okay echo hack is on so uh, echo command will just uh, echo what the content is okay so that's what that's a meaning of the um, echo command the echo command uh, helps us to move some data usually text into a file for example uh, if you want to create a new text file or uh, to add an already made text file you just need to type in echo hello comma uh, name in alloc uh, double quotation is a, sorry uh, greater than greater than symbol uh, new text okay so this command will uh, make a um, new file okay so you do you do need do not need to separate the spaces uh, because spaces by using the backward slashes here because we put into uh, triangular brackets where when we finish uh, what we need to write okay so that uh, the, the, we will discuss more about uh, echo command in um, privilege escalation and uh, ch mod videos okay so the next one is i have mentioned i have uh, see, we have seen about cat command uh, in the cat and nano in the be beginning itself so we don't need uh, that's an int int intermediate command and here comes the sudo command what the sudo command did uh, it's it will g give the super use of power okay so sudo space hyphen i so it will uh, give you the super user power for uh, i am already i am a root user whereas uh, if you are uh, using a linux server and if you are a user of that particular linux server like user at hack is on then you might be in, uh, you, you have to use the sudo space i command and you have to enter the sudo pass it will ask you for the sudo password and you have to enter to become a root uh, it's in some simple words we can tell it as whenever if you want to get a super user power that means a root permission then you have for a particular work you can use this sudo space uh, hyphen i command okay this will make you as a uh, super user okay so the df command is the disk space uh, let me execute this um, use of this uh, df command to see the available disk space in each of the partitions in your system okay so th this will uh, you uh, you have lots of you you, you most of the persons will have uh, lots of um, partitions so there are uh, like in servers and all uh, you need to uh, if you want to see this partition space available space then you can use uh, df okay so uh, space
if you want to uh, this will show you in uh, KB okay so this will show you everything in KB whereas uh, this will show you in MB okay so if you want to uh, see the disk space in MB then you can you, you have to add hyphen M okay so this will uh, show you the uh, disk space in uh, megabytes okay so the next command is du okay so the du command uh, will uh, let you know about the disk usage of a particular file or a folder okay so let me uh, show you an example about um, on desktop okay so du desktop so uh, it will show you uh, the space uh, how much space the particular file in a, uh, like how much space the uh, file in the desktop folder takes it takes i8 mb like it will show you the count okay let me move on to the top okay uh, how much space uh, uh, does the uh, the particular file takes and all it will show you up okay so this will help you to uh, know about the came to know about the disk usage space uh, disk space usage of a particular file or a folder okay and showing in KB everything here is uh, in KB okay that is kilobyte so if you want to uh, know about uh, know about documents and everything folder files everything okay so it will work on uh, oh, okay let me move. so the next command is uh, zip okay so if you want to uh, zip a file uh, let me show you the example uh, example is every time it is a better way to understand so let me zip testing sorry I mentioned okay I have done a small mistake so I have to uh, mention like testing space zip testing space I have to mention the path I have forgotten about that okay so hi now hit enter so we have successfully zipped that uh, testing folder okay we have testing for we, we have let me check okay. so here uh, you could see that we have zipped that testing folder okay so like this you can use it okay let me clear it so the next command the next uh, whenever if you if you are logging into your server this commands will uh, help you okay so who am i so I am root it will uh, reply you uh, the username who you are in that server in that particular server or in that particular shell who you are it will uh, it reflects you okay so that that means uh, who am I means that that's a who am I means command you name space okay so you name uh, means it's Linux okay so there are uh, some variations in you name itself so you name space a uh, will uh, will completely uh, reply implies you that uh, that have a complete version like we are which version of Kali Linux which Debian version you are using uh, I'm using Debian 4.18 that is latest Kali mission so I have updated up to date uh, the updated last update were date was this okay so and it was a GUI version uh, GNU version of uh, GNU Linux okay so this is a uh, my Linux kernel version that is uh, 4.18 okay, the latest one so my uh, my name the my PC name was Hackison okay so that's the thing here here I am having so the another variation is uh, MRS okay it's just uh, tell you the kernel version okay so to just if you want a detailed specification it will show you uh, uh, hyphen a will show you whereas if you want to just uh, want to know about the kernel version then you have to use u namespace hyphen mrs okay so this is the use of um, u name okay so information about uh, your system so apt get uh, i think everyone would know about apt get so it apt get which uh, is nothing but it will work with the packages in the lim linux command line it is a uh, the major use of apt get command is to install packages okay so and if you know if you are not uh, a root user then it will ask you for um, 
root permission so better uh, use sudo uh, in bit before the apt get command okay so the ch mode i have told you like i have i will, will be discussing about ch mode in a separate video because it's a lot vast topic so we will discuss in in it in detail okay so the next one is uh, host name so hack is on uh, to see the host name uh, we can use this command host name okay so it will uh, you want to know your name and the host name um, is, um, or in a network or a server this will help you to know the host name okay so host name space uh, I the, he, this is one of the version in that so it will show you the um, IP address of that host name okay so uh, this also will uh, help you in uh, working while working with uh, working on um, servers okay so the next command is uh, ping I think everyone would know about ping command okay the, just it will ping you uh, with the particular website okay check your uh, to check uh, whether internet is working or not everyone would work as a as a professional network engineer uh, you must know about this okay so whenever if a network administrator or anyone any higher professionals tell you to uh, check the net connectivity you have to use the ping command this is more professional i think okay so this is the uh, professional thing so uh, clear commands uh, uh, is uh, is the basic i have mentioned you about uh, everything okay so these were the um, basic and intermediate commands which you have to know about and there are lots of things apart from this we will be discussing each and every part in detail so stay tuned for the next video okay so the next video will be about uh, ch mode it will be uh, in detail okay so I, we, i'll be uh, explaining you about ch mode in detail uh, don't skip the video guys uh, it will it won't help you in any way okay so don't skip the videos that was my humble suggestion to you uh, we will be if you have any doubts regarding how to become most of the guys will ha hack having a uh, asking uh, asking me about uh, basics of hacking and all okay so we will we will be discussing about uh, that in a online session i'll be announcing the online session time before itself so you come come at that time and uh, ask doubts okay so if you have any doubts regarding this video uh, comment on the comment section or contact us directly through instagram guys okay so we are most uh, we are um, available uh, 24 into 7 in instagram so if you want to um, well, because most of the guys are texting us in um, facebook we are unable to uh, reply to them okay so contact us through instagram so if you are a new viewer to this channel please subscribe to us and click on the bell icon to get immediate updates okay so thanks for watching guys keep supporting us it was been a long video and you have uh, watched it till the end thanks a lot thanks a lot guys keep supporting us okay take care bye bye